smooch again if you want. Oh, that's so cute. That's so nice. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to another edition of uh, Sketch Stories, otherwise known as Story Time with Tony. <laughs> Tell us a, t a, t a story, Tony. <laughs> if those of you have not picked up the uh, the Tony Dow coloring book, uh, you, there's still plenty of time because it's not like limited. But today we're gonna we're gonna uh, have Tony pick another sketch and have him tell us a story. That was fast. That's that's the sketch. <laughs> that looks just like it. Harry and the Hendersons Ooh. and uh, Swamp Thing, which I directed both the television series. Mm -hmm. uh, it was interesting because this guy, this Swamp Thing guy. Swampy. Yeah, Swampy. He was. <laughs> You know, he had, to come, he had to come out of the water. I remember something that was really funny, but I can't remember it right now. <laughs> <laughs> and that's story time. Thanks for watching. <laughs> we shot the last season of the new Leave it to Beaver down in Florida at the uh, Universal Studios down there. And um, I think we were, we were the first series to work down there. And we... Um, Actually, we were there when they were sh shooting Parenthood. What were, what were some of the problems with with the suit, getting them in and out of the suit? Well, it, it was just a major suit. So it was Harry's. Harry, this poor guy was in this suit all the time, and he was hot, and he kept complaining. They were, they were big guys. They yeah. were big guys. Yeah. Well, you can tell they're taller, taller than me. Even. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It was cool because it was one of the first, those two shows were a couple of first half hour TV shows that I directed and they were hard to do because, you know, they, I think they were three days, they might have been four, <laughs> but in any case, doing a half hour in three days or four days is, uh, you gotta go fast. We're trying to remember things that happened eons ago. Well, that's true. So what what year was, was Harry and Anderson? Do you remember the year? Do you remember what century it was? It was in the 80s. In the 80s. In the 80s. My, my that's a long time ago. That was a long time ago. Anyway, Bruce Davidson was in that uh, series. Mm -hmm. And uh, the family ends up with Harry in the house. And uh, Like a pet. They, like, yeah, like a pet. Well, I mean, it was always difficult because we were near the water and on the water. So that's always a difficult thing, mm -hmm. you know, because you're, if you're really doing a, a scene that's in the water, all the guys, all the crew, all the camera, you know, are out in the in the lake. But uh, we didn't do a lot of that stuff. But I think that was probably the hardest, uh, the hardest thing to do. And it's always hard when there's a when there's a costume because you know it's hard enough to get people to get on the set at the right time. And what were you doing? Did you go with him when they, when you went to Florida? Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, I was putting together a book called Beyond the Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom. Yeah. Uh -huh. Which I was told I couldn't use. You can't say the Magic Kingdom. That's like saying Disneyland or Disney World. And I was I would travel around uh, the Orlando area with my dog, our dog Gladiola, the old English sheep dog, looking for I really... I think it was Maggie. <laughs> No, I don't think it was. Okay. It what? I'll tell you. What? What did I say? I didn't say Gladiola. <laughs> yes, you did. Did I? You did. Oh, no. <laughs> oh shoot! Sorry, dogs. <laughs> I was putting together a concept for a book mm -hmm. on all the amazing things that that Orlando area had to offer beyond amusement parks yeah. and I had a really good time I'd go to different restaurants people would eat alligator this little yeah. place on this little lake and on and on and on and you had a lot of great the stuff the I don't only, know why, the, what the happened only problem that. well what happened was the show got canceled and, <laughs> yeah, that and another screws. thing you can't really yeah. do that type of a, of a book because well, be things keep changing I yeah. mean you know I'd go back to a place I was at a month ago and it's closed okay. I'd hang out on the set and I made friends with, you know, the some crew, nice yeah. people, and yeah. they invited mm -hmm. me to. All the, all the studly lighting guys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Do you remember having alligator? Oh my God, how could I forget? Yeah, what did it's it taste the like? Best. Really? It's the best. It tasted better than like a white chicken breast. Mm -hmm. It was tender. You cook it like tempura mm. quickly in a very light batter. There's did it come with fangs? Fangs? No, no, no thanks. There's a place here in Woodland Hills that sells alligator. I'll be sure to not go. It's actually good. It's actually like good. It. You like it. Oh, you really yeah, like you're, it. you're a vegan. <laughs> vegan, vegan. Uh, vegan. One of the producers of Swamp Thing was Joe Stefano, which I'm sure you remember. Mm -hmm. And he wrote the first script. And he he's the writer of Psycho. That's his main claim to fame. And a lot of other things. He's a terrific writer. And uh, he worked on the show for five or six episodes, and they were great. The shows that he wrote were terrific. Yeah. To wrap up this segment, we have the Tony and Lauren lightning round. Are you ready? Ooh, yeah, I like uh, now, How do we do it? How, well, I'm gonna ask you some questions, and then the first thing that pops in your head, that's the answer. So either one of us Both can of us pop. shout it oh, out. I got the wrong card. If you were a superhero, what would be your superpower, Tony? I'd be able to see through things. Like clothing? Yeah. Uh, like houses. Houses. You just and want to see through a just house? just want to see through yeah. stuff. Stuff. Okay. Yeah. Lauren, what would be your superpower? She's already got to, it. To erase hatred and war mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. our vocabulary. Uh, Lauren, your favorite dessert? Uh, Don't say Tony. Cream. Cream. Uh, uh, it's, it's like Do they have very it down at, uh, doughy the and light. Place? And it's got whipped cream inside. Like a it's what? a cream puff. I know what your dessert is: ice cream. Oh, always, yeah, always. ice cream uh, with a little chocolate. Yeah, uh, and caramel. Your favorite place to travel in the world, if you could go right now. If I could go right now. Uh -huh. How about New Zealand? You mean like a place I've never been but always wanted to go to, or a place I've been to and I've really loved? Yes. Lightning. <laughs> <laughs> this okay, is thunderous. Okay. <laughs> Where would you Vietnam. go? Vietnam. Mm Vietnam. -hmm. You'd, you'd go to, okay. I've already been there. Yeah. You'd go she back. She said I could, you could go, go back. back if you want. Go back. Sure. Uh, Tony, your favorite animal on the whole planet? On the whole planet? My dog. Poppy. Uh, Poppy, yeah, of course. But if you're talking about wild animals, how about king penguins? Oh, these are crazy questions. No, they're not. Just pick one. What's that little animal called? The hedgehog. Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tony, if you could travel to any planet, what would it be? Well, I think Mars. Mars? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're yes. going to be heading there soon anyway. I know. Yeah. I would go to Venus. Yeah, of course planet. you would. Yeah. Of course. Uh, what, is, what does Venus have that Mars doesn't? I don't know that much about outer space. Well, we would have you. Tony, your favorite classic TV show? Favorite classic TV show? Oh... I think maybe it's it's the Westerner. Well, I should say Leave It to Beaver. Yeah. You should. You should. Yeah. Leave we'll it pretend to Beaver. they did. Huh? Leave It to Beaver. Leave It to Beaver. Should they bring Leave It to Beaver back? No. <laughs> <laughs> They've already no, beat because... it to death. <laughs> All right. Well, that's what we got for story time. Thank you, Tony. That was awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, and by the way, uh, we are still doing the, the Tony Dow Coloring Book Coloring Contest. So if you got your book, we've already gotten a few entries. Have you? Yeah. Yeah, they're really, really nice, too. Are they good? They're really good. Uh, so keep sending them in. Uh, if you have a sketch that you're doing or uh, a sketch that you're working on, be sure to send it. Ask Fireball at FireballTim.com. Uh, and then we will announce a winner at the end of October. Uh, and the winner gets not only a signed copy of the book, but you'll get some Tony Chocoloni also. One of these. Yay. Wait a second. Is it right side up? No. There it is. All right. Tony Chocoloni. You get one of these, and then uh, we, Lauren's going to throw that? some uh, Leave It to Beaver stuff in also. Yeah, you can have them. But this is this is dark milk chocolate pretzel. That's for you. That's hers. Dark, dark, dark chocolate pretzel. Okay. Dark this milk one. chocolate. That's mine. That's What's that? This one is yours. You didn't get this the last time. This is uh, salted caramel. Ooh. Sea salt. Well, wait you a can't minute. Still wait a minute. Hold this it. is mine. <laughs> Give it back. Thanks, folks. We will see you on the next episode. Adios. A couple of kooks.